Hey kids, welcome to lesson 16, functions with return values. Using functions that return values. We have used functions that return values many times before, but in this exercise, you will see how they are actually created by using the return command. The function minval accepts two numbers as inputs and returns the minimum of the two as output. You can call this function just like any other and because it returns a number, you can treat the function call as if it were a number. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. We have a do this. Starter code has been provided that creates the function minval and generates two random values. Inspect the code minval to understand the logic of this function. On the console.log line, call the function using rand1 and rand2 as parameters and ensure the minimum value is returned you should treat the function call as if it were a number. Looks like we have example here. We're on our console.log line and it looks like it's adding our variable minval and our two parameters, rand1 and rand2. Check that the program generates output similar to the output shown below. The minimum of 13 and 95 is 13. Well, that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code down here. We have a comment at a call to minval to the console.log command below. Looks like we're gonna be adding here. We have two variables. They are both producing a random number between one and 100. We have a function minval. It has two parameters, num1, num2. We have another variable min. If num1 is less than num2, our variable min becomes num1. Else, min equals num2. So that means if number one is smaller than number two, then min becomes our number one. Otherwise, min goes to number two. And then we're gonna return whatever min is. That's our return feature. This is what our offline activity was and the previous two exercises here on code.org. Well, what we need to do is we need to call to this minimum val. And what we need to do is put the two parameters in there, ran one and ran two. And it should return the minimum value between the two. In our console.log statement, then we should get the minimum value of rand1 and rand2 is and calling to whatever the min val is. So we are double substituting. How do we do that? Well, after our is here, we're just going to come over just like the example. We're going to put plus min val rand1 rand2 and a parentheses. Make sure you have two and a semicolon afterwards. Now what this console.log statement is doing is it is checking this function here to see which of the two numbers is the smallest. Let's see if my hypothesis is correct. Let's hit run, 75 and 64, and the smallest number is 64. Seems like it's working, right? Let's try it one more time. The minimum number of 95 and 14 is 14. One last time, 30, 19, and 19. I think our code is working the way it should. Looking back up here to our do this, we went through the code to better understand it, and I think I have a little better understanding of what's happening now. And how our code worked was we had a function minval, and what it did was compared number one against number two to see which one was less. If number one was less, it substituted that number in for min. Otherwise, it substituted number two in. And then we returned whatever min was to our variable. And that variable became the minimum value. We then called that in our code up here, by saying what is the minimum value between rand1 and rand2. We added a line on our console.log to call that function rand1 and rand2 as parameters. 
I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.